Robert Dickinson has been a truck driver for the best part of two decades. He knows all about the despair of driving in Dublin. Uh, well, before I drove a truck in Dublin, I had hair. Um, it is a torturous experience every morning. It's, it's not something that fills me with much in anticipation of coming to work because we know that every morning, every driver heading into Dublin, particularly to the port, has got to sit in traffic for an hour and a half you know, every day. Robert was to drive me through the port tunnel this afternoon, but arriving at Whitehall, the tunnel was still closed, making this an all too familiar sight for Robert. But this is it, yeah, this is it from six o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, every single day of the year, um, which hopefully should have ended today. Arriving at the port by road rather than tunnel, it became clear safety checks had taken longer than expected. But at around half past three, we became one of the first members of the public to go through the tunnel. I'm certainly not a fan of this. I think even on a busy day, there'll be, uh, it'll be just the same as this. There's no traffic jams here. There's nothing to slow us down. So our trip into the port just now took 45 minutes. The trip out of it is going to take 10 minutes. The company Robert works for, Ace Express Freight, is convinced the port tunnel will provide a massive boost to business. Back at base in Lusk, Robert agrees. Well, it's a fantastic experience. It's uh, chalk and cheese to how it used to be. I mean, before it was a, a nightmare every day of very slow moving, stuck in cars and smoke and fumes. Today it was a breath of fresh air. And long may that continue. Philip Bromwell, RTE News.